Hello, everyone. Once again, welcome to this lecture. As I promised in this lecture, we'll write a program to find the greatest of three numbers using conditional operator. In previous video, we have written a program to find the greatest of two numbers using conditional operator. To find greatest of three numbers, now I directly demonstrate this program using online C compiler. So in Google, you type online C compiler. So the first uh, link you can click on online gdb.com. If we have good internet facility, we can use these online compilers so that no need to install any software in your computer. Now this is the window online C component. Okay, so remove everything. So these comments you remove. So we do the header file. This keep it as it is and main function beginning of main this printf we can remove okay now we'll write program to find greatest of all three numbers okay so for that purpose we need to declare a three variables here so i'm declaring three variables of type uh, integer a comma b comma c and to store the maximum among these three, I declare one more variable called the max. Now, as usually, ask the user to enter the values through keyboard. So, ask the user to enter three numbers. So, he entered three numbers. Now, read the three numbers through scanner function. Say percentage D reads the first number, second percentage D reads the second number, and uh, third percentage D reads the third number and store them into address of A comma address of B comma address of C. Suppose up to this part, everyone is comfortable. Reclaim three variables A, B, C for storing the three numbers and another variable max for storing maximum of these three numbers. Now I'm asking the user to enter three numbers. So user enters three numbers. So I'm reading those three numbers using this uh, scanner function. So use three format specifiers here because ABC of uh, integer type, then use format specifier as percentage D, percentage D, percentage D. These three reads the three numbers entered to keyboard and stores into the address of A, address of B, and the address of C. Okay, right. Now we have three numbers with us. We have three numbers with us. Now we need to find the greatest among these three numbers. Okay, so what we do first. Uh, we compare the first two numbers, A greater than B, then question mark. Okay, so this is how we perform greatest of three numbers using elimination process. Now assume we have three numbers, A, B, and C. So what we do? First, we'll compare these two numbers. And if A is greater, then what we do, we eliminate this uh, B. And then we compare A with uh, C. Then among these two, whichever is greater, then that will become the greatest number. In other case, if B is greater, so in such case, what we do, we eliminate this A, then again, we compare B and C. Then 
whichever is greater among these two, then that will become the greatest of the three numbers. This is the logic we are going to implement in this. So what I'm doing first, I'm comparing the first two numbers, A greater than B, B here. So there are two parts. If this is true, assume I'm representing true part with, within the parenthesis and uh, false part with another parenthesis. So if A greater than B, if this is true, then it comes to this true part and this is for part, for false part here. Okay. So first we'll take a true here. Okay. So A greater than B, if this is true, then what we need to do, that means the first case we discussed, A greater than B, A greater, that means we eliminate B here, then we compare A with the C. Okay. So again, compare A with the C, A greater than C, a greater than C, again, conditional operator you can use here. Okay, so that means in one conditional operator, I'm writing another conditional operator here. A greater than C, if this is true, what does it mean? A is greater. Otherwise, again, inside this, again, one more conditional operator we, I'm using here. So for this, there are two parts, true part and the false part. Okay, so if this inner conditional operator condition is true, A is greater, Otherwise, C is greater. C is greater. Okay. And uh, that will be assigned to the variable max here. So here you write max is equal to max equals to A greater than B. So it goes to this true part. This is true part. Then again, in true part, we are using one more conditional operator. Checking A with the C here. Okay. So A greater than C. If true, then A will be assigned to max, otherwise C will be assigned to max. Now, we'll consider the second case, A greater than B, false, then it goes to this false part, okay? So, as usual, uh, we discussed here, okay? So, A greater than B, that means false, false means B is greater here, now we need to compare B with the C, okay? So, Control jumps to this false part here. Now compare B with the C. So again, you can use one more conditional operator wherever there is any condition to be tested. So B greater than C. If this is true, B is the greatest number and will be assigned to max. Otherwise, C is the greatest number and uh, that will be assigned to max. So in single statement, you can compare two conditions. That means in one conditional operator, we are writing another conditional operator. This is called a nesting of conditional operator. So if any one of these is bigger, then that value will be assigned to max based on ABC values. Then if you print max value, then that fits greatest of the three numbers okay so then here you can print uh, say greatest number greatest number is equals to percentage d then power where we have store in the variable called the max so provide that variable name here then percentage d takes the value from max and prints the greatest number then say return zero close this is how we can solve greatest of three numbers using conditional operator. Let us run this program. So let us check whether there are any errors in our program. No, there are no errors. So it is asking enter three numbers. You can test the program with the different different combinations of uh, values. So no, I'm um, just uh, entering say 10, 20, 30. Now we can see greatest number is equal to 30. So what happened? You need to understand for this uh, combination of values. What happened? How the system evaluated this conditional operator statement? We need to understand here. Okay. So now see A value is 10, B value is 20, and C value is 30. So first up, it goes to this first uh, condition part here. A greater than B. What is A value? 10. What is B value? 20. 10 greater than 20, false. 
So false means it goes to this the false part here. So control jumps to this second part after the colon here. Okay. So then it checks uh, this second condition here. B greater than C. What is B here? 20. C is 30. 20 greater than 30. False. False means then it goes to this false part of the inner conditional statement here that C and C will be assigned to max. Then it goes to the next statement print of greatest number is equal to 30 events. That's how this statement is executed. You can run another time and you can test for another combination. Say for example, if I enter the three numbers like this 10, 30 and 20. Now, See, greatest number is equal to 30. Okay, but where from this 30 is assigned, that you need to understand here. Okay, so once again, if we look into the execution part of this, 10 greater than B, what is B value this time? 30. 10 greater than 30, false. Then again, it goes to the second part, false part here. Okay, so then it checks B greater than C, B value is 30, C value is 20. 30 greater than 20, yes, true. Then most of this group on P will be assigned to max, then it prints greatest number is equal to 30. Since B is maximum number, then it prints greatest number is equal to 30. So this way you can run this program for different different combinations of inputs. Now say enter three numbers. This time say we enter 20, 10, 30. Now we can see greatest number is equal to 30. Okay, so what is happening here? 20 greater than 10. Yes, true. This time see here. 20 greater than 10. True. So then it goes to this uh, true part here. It comes here. Then inside this true part again it checks 20 greater than 30. What is even 30? False. Then this C will be assigned to max. So then C value it prints maximum number, greatest number is equal to 30 prints. Clear? You understood the concept and you can test uh, the output of this program for various combinations of uh, input numbers. Thank you all. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And click on like button. Thank you.